So here's where we, we do the, the MRI for the acute stroke patients. And uh, that. So the emergency department is really a, a very important part of our stroke center. We have established a system where patients are screened for stroke. And once detected, the stroke team is activated. And all the care happens very quickly because we know that time is brain. And the faster you treat the patient, uh, the better outcomes you're going to have. Stroke is a team sport, and it really takes a multitude of disciplines and expertise to take care of stroke patients. Uh, you go from the ED team, the stroke neurologist, therapist, pharmacist, nutritionist, social workers. It's, it's a big team, and everybody works together and plays their part to improve the patient's outcome. We really deliver every piece of stroke care that a patient might need, starting even before the stroke has happened with our stroke prevention clinic. But once a stroke has happened, our comprehensive stroke center really focuses on how to achieve your best recovery. That starts with hyperacute treatments, such as medications like TPA, the clot-busting medicine, and surgeries like mechanical thrombectomy. But the care really ramps up after you leave the emergency department. We're really one of the few hospitals and stroke centers in the world that focuses immediately on stroke recovery, meaning that we're intertwining some of our recovery activities really within one day of admission to the hospital to be sure that we're getting the right therapies delivered to every patient uh, when they land at our hospital. And we really try to use innovations in our environment to inspire patients to promote their own self-care and get themselves on track as well. So recovery is a priority in our unit and um, everybody works together to achieve that. Here we are in Zayed 12 West in our brain rescue unit. We're gonna play the mind pod. So if you want to develop a new digital therapeutic, and in particular you want to develop a from scratch gaming solution, then in fact that is almost as challenging as the innovation itself because you need a different set of people working in the medical school environment that usually don't. So in fact, the Stroke Center in SKSI really has allowed us to create a team of very talented artists and engineers to invent these new forms of digital therapeutic that otherwise you wouldn't be able to under traditional medical school environments. What's really exciting to me about what's happening is that the notion of a behavioral intervention that is prescribable, just like a drug, and that you can do that in parallel to the more conventional approaches is, is mind-blowing. I mean, I think that ultimately I'd like every hospital, every clinic, every high street to have an immersive neuro holodeck. And then we could multiply on top of them drugs and, and devices. That's the future for me. Good, can you see it moving? Stroke can be an extremely devastating condition especially if it's not addressed early. So it's extremely important for people to receive intense early rehabilitation, and that's why they would come here. After a stroke, you have a critical period when the brain is ready for change, which is why it's so important to give the therapy early on. In fact, it's been shown that Giving more therapy early on is what really helps patients mitigate disability over the long term. And so our goal is to give patients the best chance to regain life as they knew it. One of the other things that's really important to stroke patients is making sure that they transition to home very safely and effectively. We know that this is a frightening time for patients who are experiencing very new symptoms that had sudden onset. So we have a program that really helps transition from hospital to home safely. This is the JSTEP program and it's our telemedicine program that really brings specialty providers to the patient immediately when they leave the hospital to assure that all medical conditions are stabilized, the stroke is stabilized, and that the therapies are both safe and effective for the patient. So at Hopkins, we are carrying out a number of clinical trials that are funded by the National Institutes of Health, um, both placebo-controlled medication trials, variety of brain stimulation trials, and we're trying to understand the mechanisms by which they work with innovative imaging to look at changes in the brain. 
you know, I think many of our patients really want to participate in studies because we're devoted to trying to help them recover faster. And that's what our trials are all about, is helping people recover faster and more completely. We're doing evidence-based rehabilitation as well as interventions in the acute stage. We have the best people, best nurses, best therapists, best social workers, as well as physicians who are really dedicated to improving the field of stroke recovery. And I think we're carrying out the trials to make that happen. You know, I personally would love to see stroke completely wiped off the face of the globe, meaning not a single patient has to suffer from this disease. But in the interim, we really need to help every single patient have the highest quality of life possible. And here at Johns Hopkins, we're really on a mission to do just that.